Hello and welcome to this backwards compatible chat. Today we're going to be talking about probably my favourite, one of my favourite games, uh, gaming series of all time, and that's FIFA. So um, this is a bit, a bit strange. Um, I'm actually playing the game while I'm chatting, so it's going to be a bit weird. But um, so if you'd like to flick onto our YouTube channel, the video should be up. If it's not up today, it'll be up in the next few days. I apologise if I'm a bit late. But um, the idea being is is that there are some games that. Um, people kind of dismiss it's one of those things it happens the same with good tv shows and sometimes and good comics um that they're just considered to be what they are but people never bother to take the time to look at them every year to see if they're improving and we, we kind of get complacent we just think oh that's what it is and and we all like it and just carry on so um fifa's done a lot in recent years um i was always a pez player um Prevolution soccer or even when I started it was um, international superstar soccer that's how far back I go on sort of PlayStation era but um, it was always the fact that Pets was a better gameplay game and FIFA was more flashy it had the first time that I ever heard uh, it's in the game was just an immense moment um, in gaming for me but uh, Pets seemed to have lost its way and just as Pets was losing its way um, FIFA's just became so much more functional. Um, the addition of things like Be a Pro, the addition of, of uh, FIFA Ultimate Team Foot, just kept on making the franchise get stronger and stronger and stronger. So, I have, in recent years, I have become a FIFA player. Now I am not that good, as you may have been able to tell if you've been watching the video. Um, I try my hardest. Uh, I enjoy it. I love it. I love playing, but I'm not what you would be like one of those superstar players who's going to win on world class at a 6 nil. I play on professional mostly and um, it's a bit of a hit and miss whether I win sometimes I will say that I am an Arsenal fan so I generally play as Arsenal I love playing as Bayern Munich as well um, for obvious reasons because Bayern Munich are great um, but it's one of those uh, little things that I will sorry one of those sort of things that I don't mind who I play as and there will be times where I'll get absolutely hammered but I'll keep on trying and um, I do like that. I think the beer pros are great as well. Um, I always start off as an Arsenal player, but I always end up going being um, always end up being uh, loaned out. I always do a stupid thing now where whatever team I get loaned out to is the second team I'll support for that season. So they're the team that I look out for their results. So I think last year it was Gillingham. Um, this year I haven't really chosen one yet. I haven't really started beer pro, but I'm going to be doing that, and they'll become a source of these videos actually. So, um, yeah, so I, I say I do enjoy playing the games. Um, the reason I think they've been overlooked sometimes is because they are sport games. Now, sometimes um, us gamers can get a little bit snooty, and there's definitely something about um, sports games which drives uh, some people to get a little bit, you know, in some ways up their own ass. I'll say that nicely. But in also sometimes they just do sniff at it a bit. I mean, um, it's just the. Oh, it's a good goal by them, not by me. Um, so it's, if you don't know the difference, I'm on a team playing in red who's just gone one nil down. Um, but yeah, so literally what will happen is that um, it, yes, it has a there's no storyline, but you, obviously it's a football, it's a sport game. There's, you need no story. Um, graphically speaking, these games are, are quite condensed, which means they can go quite do quite nice things with them. They can push them into being something that little bit different, which I do quite like. Um, Again, sometimes I I'm not overly keen on goal celebrations. I think they slow the game down. I don't really want to pretend I'm doing a little dance or something like that. I just want the game to flow. But obviously, that's where some people marvel at how good the, the player the player um, models are, and they are very very good. But I much prefer the player models actually in game. So the way that they their arms move, the way that they're sh even you know, I think FIFA this year, the way that the the grass gets damaged is lovely, and things like that just make I think make the game that little bit. Um, Realistic is not the word because it's not realistic, it's football, but it makes the game have those extra touches that other games don't have, the lasting damage. And that's some of those things that, again, sometimes do we don't give credit to developers for. Every year this game is built and built and built. Now, I have a common policy generally, which is every other year with FIFA, because every other year they tend to put in a big update. So the last one was changing how the defense mechanics works. And then, as I said, things like foot and um, and be a pro. So my that was generally always my, my thing. And then on I would buy pairs on the other years. Um, 
basically just because I like playing both of them. Um, and in, say in the last few years that has changed to just buying FIFA. But if you think about how far this game has come in terms of crowd reactions, in terms of the um, commentary actually working, because at the beginning you never would work. You would just always, you know, it still is a little bit ropey, it must be said. And having Alan, Alan Smith as the English commentator is so much fun, it's unbelievable. But um, sometimes when we when we look at how the, the games advanced, if you think, you know, this is, if you think about the engines, um, they do move along and they do produce nicer graphics, better physics, better ball physics. You know, everything like that has come on so far. It's unbelievable. No, you can no longer take a shot from the halfway line and expect to score. There will be times where you can, but I think on FIFA 95, there was a, if you shot just outside the half, uh, outside the halfway, um, uh, uh, at the circle, uh, semicircle, in the, uh, circle in the middle. Um, then you'd always, you'd always score. Um, there was a, a little place exactly where you'd always do it. But that, that sort of thing's been lost now because the the developers have taken so much time and care. Now, um, football's not the only sport games I love. I like, I like, uh, I love, I love rugby games. Um, predominantly, unfortunately, EA have dropped those. They've gone over to a few other things. There was a there was actually a review of the Jonah Lomu um, game on the Vita, which is not too bad, um, but I wish it was a bit better. And I can't wait for that sort of thing. Rugby Challenge, that's what it's called. And I can't wait for that sort of thing to be on um, come onto the PC again, because somehow so I don't know why, but they've taken it off of Steam, um, which is a bit annoying. The Rugby Challenge two, and the Rugby Challenge one, but. I also um, I love Madden. Um, I love NHL. Uh, NHL is probably my favourite. The NBA games I don't mind. Um, the 2K, uh, the NBA 2K is quite a lot of fun, but I'm not the best basketball fan, so I don't really spend too much time with it. And then of course you've got things like the boxing games, like Fight Night, which was tons of fun, and games like that. So in terms of sport games, there's, there's a hell of a lot of variety out there. And again, sometimes I do think they do get a bit too overlooked. So. So what I want to do is I'm going to start playing a few of these football games, do them in videos and in um, on the random chats as well. So hopefully you'll be able to take a look at what's going on. Uh, just yes. So um, just don't think. So um, I'm also looking to do a few other little things around this. So um, please do keep an eye out. But that's fine. So now I'm just going to talk a little bit about uh, FIFA 15. So um, I've been playing 50, 50 15 for a while and put that many hours I think it's only about nine so it's still quite young and fresh in my mind but it's it's a nice improvement on 14 um, there are a few little things which seem to be quite good as I said before the the damage to the to the grass it's only a small thing but it is quite a nice little touch um, it looks lovely the fact that the on uh, this is obviously um, so should say this is the PC version that you're watching and they've and put the Ignite engine, which was in obviously the PS4, well, obviously, but it was in the PS4 and Xbox One version last year. But they didn't have time to code it properly for the PC or something, so it wasn't in there. But now it's in there, and again, it just seems smoother. The whole game just it feels just smooth. Um, and that sounds a bit weird, but again, there's no, there's hardly any juttering. The only time I do get juttering is on my line, and bloody uh, the um, connection's not good, but. Um, when you're when you're playing the game it just feels smooth the loading times are just ridiculously slow uh, ridiculously fast so I'm talking about you get into a game in, in no time at all which is absolutely lovely and again it just helps that flow of play and as you can see there a little bit of seeing the players faces and that all looks quite nice but um, I, I, I am enjoying it um, I have bought Pez this year as well and I've enjoyed that a bit more I'm enjoying that quite a lot as well. So I do sometimes I do have um, I do have my Pez set up exactly the same way that I have my FIFA set up. I know that's a little bit of a heresy there for Pez fans, but you know I do use um, an Xbox 360 controller, which I'm still kind of get used to. I much prefer my PlayStation 3 controller, but I'll I'll, I'll learn eventually. I think to to like this one. Um, so yeah, eventually we'll get there. I think for that one, but. Oh crap! Okay, not bad job, bad free ball. But yeah, so um, fifteen is it's good. I want I'm gonna do a, a comparison I think between fifteen and Pets fifteen to see which one I really prefer. And uh, I have spent longer with FIFA, so I am more I am uh, longer with FIFA fifteen this year. So 
I do at the moment it definitely is the leader but that's a, a bit of an unfair advantage because I have spent more time so I'm more comfortable playing it but I can't see a oof. I do think Pez is coming back and I do think that that's a good thing because hopefully that means that the, the, the people at FIFA will start to have to raise their game which you know their game is pretty high but you know if they're forced to push up even more I think that will hopefully be a good thing a bit of competition is great for the business and I do think that if we can have more of that going on all the time that would be a really good thing so uh, thank you very much for listening um, the video will probably go on for a little bit longer now um, I do apologise if you are if you are um, I'm familiar with our, with the random chat, but basically um, the random chat is where I get guests on, or sometimes as today I do it by myself, and we quickly uh, we chat about um, different things from games to videos to comics and films and everything else. Um, obviously, it's one of those things where um, it hasn't got its structure is basically depending on what anyone wants to talk about. So sometimes they last 10, 15 minutes. Sometimes they have lasted an hour, like our last one, but. Uh, um, basically the idea is just to come on have a chat and have a bit of fun so um i thank you all very much for listening um this has been paul for backwards compatible on the random chat um if you want to stick around then please do um but if you want to see me get beaten then that's great but if not then i bid you adieu and say thank you very much take care Zola. Pair Matasaka. Good control here. Quite congested midfield, but good passing from this team. Got to be. Great resistance from the goalkeeper a really well struck shot now they've got a corner on the attack again the team that's leading by one goal and hits it I have to say the corner taker will be upset because he did his bit he did and they took the hours in on the training ground to get to that part where the player had a chance but he just didn't complete it Jack Wilshire. Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain. Throw for Tottenham. Kyle Walker. Interception made, but then a great difficulty. Federico Fazio. Santi Cazola. Well, this attack got a bit of menace to it. going to be a North London success for Arsenal and their supporters recognise that yeah quite rightly though in full voice now because they in with a chance well it's still level thanks to the goalkeeper we might look back at the end of this match as the defining save in this contest a 
Well, here we can see the corner count so far. Good, strong tackle. Sanchez. Danny Welbeck. It's going to be five minutes of added time. Jack Wilshire. Jan Vertonga. Aaron Lennon. in the attack here, looking for a cross at the end of it. And the cross comes in now. The defender has dealt with the cross well. Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain. The defenders have left that to the goalkeeper. Proper thing to do. Well, that's it. It's level at the end of 90 minutes.